What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I am bringing you another episode of They Think It's All Over. Today around the Beast card that's always been on FIFA and he's been always been a really good player in real life as well and that is Kevin Prince Boateng, obviously the brother of uh, the better Boateng, I've got to be honest, uh, in Jerome. Um, you know, just Kevin's had played for so many, uh, so many different clubs, uh, clubs over his career. So you know, he's always been a brilliant, brilliant footballer. But we have built a squad around him um, today in the three-five-two. And in goal, we start off with a special card, with a very nice-looking special card. I believe these are the heroes for this year. And uh, now, who Guzman? I'm not actually too sure why he received this card, but it looks phenomenal nonetheless. Eighty-two diving, eighty-five reflexes, eighty-one handling, seventy-six kicking, and eighty-three positioning. He is six foot four. Um, and he was decent, you know, I just had no complaints, he was he was pretty decent, I couldn't really complain about, um, you know, the way he plays, so, yeah, that's all i got to say, is I can't really complain about him. First in back is a Spanish from Napoli, that is Raul Albiol, and then the other two are both Colombians from the Liga MX, and let's go to Colombia, it is uh, Meza in the middle, and Murillo on the outside. So we'll start off with Murillo, 70 pace, 77 dribbling, sorry, 77 defending, and 78 physical, six foot tall, medium high work rates, left foot on the left hand side. He was very, very good. This whole defense was very, very good. Francisco Meza is in the middle, 68 pace, 73 defending, and 70 physical, six foot tall as well, and with a low high work rates. So a lovely work rate for that player there in the middle, obviously, to keep. Um, keep back and keep defending and then the final man is the most experienced and probably the one the probably the best player in this team uh Raul Albi oh 61 pace 84 defending and 76 physical six foot three low medium work rates one goal and a one assist in seven games quite odd for me to get an assist with the CDM but I actually yeah he actually played really 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 well um the first CDM we go for is um I think it's Daniel Torres his name is and he gets a nice strong link to his Spanish partner Garcia uh, we'll start off with Daniel Torres, I was correct, 71 pace, so 71 dribbling, 71 defending, 70 passing and 79 physical, 6 foot tall, medium high work rates, 2 goals, 1 assist in 7 games. So again, pretty decent CDM, very bog standard, this team is very cheap, uh, minus the 2 special cards that are in here, so yeah, it's pretty bog standard and I couldn't really complain about it, I, you know, I play really well in the end. Manu Garcia is the other CDM, 60 pace, 71 defending and 83 physical, 6 foot tall, medium high work rates, no contribution to goals, but the big good thing about this team is you've got medium highs on the CDM, medium high on the centre back, med uh, low high on the cent central and then low medium, so everyone is quite defensive and will happily sit back and help defend. Right mid is Jose Calijon and left mid is a special card again, it is Acuna from Racing Club uh, in the Argentina League, 87 pace, 81 dribbling, 70 shooting, 78 passing, and 78 physical, 5 foot 8, medium high work rates, 2 goals, 1 assist in 7 games, cost me 24.5k. Um, I picked him because of his high defensive work rate, and he gets a perfect link to the striker. Um, I, yeah, so he he played well defensively, is what I've got to say. Um, I couldn't have any thoughts about his defensive ability, nor going at, going forward. He's quite good at crossing corners, free kicks, etc., etc. Um, he's very bog standard. I just wanted to, you know, I needed a perfect link, left mid to striker. So this is what I end up going with. And then on the right hand side, we go for Jose Callejon, a really weird player to play at right mid in a three-five-two. But it's his high high work rates that really drew me in. Seven, uh, Ninety pace, eighty-two dribbling, seventy-six shooting, and seventy passing. For high high work rates, two star week for three star skill moves. Uh, in total, he's played twenty-one games for me, getting nine goals and six assists. Majority of those from right forward or right wing. Obviously, played seven games at right mid in this team. At uh, Cam, we have the main man, and we might as well go over to the Liga BBPA because it'd be easier. And it's for UD. Las Palmas, it is Kevin Prince Boateng now playing for UD Las Palmas in the um in the La Liga. He has played for a number of teams. I'm just gonna list them out to you. Started off his career at Hertha Berlin number two, moving over to Berlin uh, number the first team in 2005. Most known probably for his time at well, in English football, Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur. Um, they moved over to Dortmund on loan for one year. They're moving to Portsmouth, Milan, Schalke, back to Milan, and then back to UD Las Palmas. Um, sorry, back to playing now for UD Las Palmas um, in the La, La Liga Santander. So he has had a lot of clubs in his career, um, moving various different leagues uh, and, uh, you know, <laughs> various different countries. But his card this year on FIFA, 74 pace, 78 dribbling, 73 shooting, 77 passing and 70. 77 physical, 6 foot 1, high medium work rate, 4 star weak fan, 4 star skill moves, 5 goals, 3 assists in 7 games. So he didn't contribute.
contribute too badly. I really enjoy playing with him. He's actually really good, and he is always been like super solid on uh, on FIFA every single year. Two strikers we go for is Bo or Bo. Bo, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, and we also go for Araujo, if that's how you pronounce his name. Sergio Arejo, Araujo, I don't know, just know how you pronounce it. 75 pace, 77 dribbling, 73 shooting, 5 foot 11, a medium meter right crates, 4 star for and 4 star skill moves, contributing 4 goals and 5 assists in 7 games. So again, he had a very strong showing, really enjoyed this front three. Probably him and Boateng over Gustavo Bo, Bo, I really don't know how to pronounce his name, it's a really odd name for an Argentinian. Anyway, 75 pace, 73 dribbling, 76 shooting, 73 physical, 5 foot 10, medium low work rates, 4 star FIFA and 3 star skill moves. For the first 3 or 4 games, I was pretty sure he had 4 star skill moves, but I was actually really, really wrong. 1 goal, 3 assists in 7 games, so he contributed a lot less than the other 2 did in the uh, in the attacking triangle. But he, you know, he didn't do too badly. I played 2 games with this team and lost both of them, like, no I didn't, I lost 1 like six or seven nil because he had a super bpl team and then i drew in the next one one all after that i left it like a day come back made two people rage quit winning four nil each time won my last game five or six nil you know this team really did perform and i really did enjoy using it in the end um standout players for me had to be uh boateng calicon and meza out of all out of everyone in this team they stood out so so well um i couldn't really con like i couldn't really uh what's the word i'm after judge they also judge Guzman's uh, performance just because I didn't really use, have to have rely, rely on him that much because of the centre-backs and uh, the CDMs really did help out uh, defensively. But that has been the team. I hope you have all enjoyed. Please like the clips at the end. Please like, please subscribe. Drop down to the description and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I shall see you all next time. Bye, guys. What's there left to say? Throw your stones the river Like me it drifts away I would watch you stare I would watch you stare Oh, but there's no one there Never let go Never let